Many thanks for your company to our very first story. Though it's a remote settlement in the heart of one of the country's rich forest areas, cost of living is unbearable. The most reliable and regular means of transport to and from the community is a motorcycle. Residents cannot wear white clothes for fear of them being scarlet. These are the plight of inhabitants of Kutukrum, one of the country's cocoa growing and mining communities located in the Nzima East District of the Western Region. John News' MFA Atiamo Eli traveled on that stretch and reports the state of the long, narrow, winding and dusty stretch could cause lots of health problems to residents if not fixed soon. <laughs> Kutsukrum is a cocoa growing community. A good number of the youth also engage in small scale mining in the area, which is situated behind Prestia. For a first time traveler like me from Accra, the nine hour journey was nothing less than a drudgery. The road to Kutsukrum caught my attention after my eight and a half hour trip ended at Prestia. The 30 minute distance seemed forever. Normally, scenes of Galamse activities would have been the most prominent story to be told by any journalist on his or her first visit to this town, but not in this case. The state of the narrow, unwinding road is more gripping. It is the only link to and from Kutukrum. When it is dry, as it is in this particular case, the red dust is blinding. Motorists must drive with caution, keeping a good distance to prevent ramming into the rear of traffic ahead. Those that manage to avoid any collision, some way, somehow, suffer various breakages, leaving their passengers stranded in the middle of the forest. <laughs> When it rains, drivers are better off staying put than attempting any trip. In cases of emergencies, the passenger bears the cost at very astronomical rates. In such cases, it is the motorbike riders who become handy. <laughs> Ama has been living in Kutukurum for the past 11 years. She hails from Swedro. She came to Kutukurum to seek greener pastures because of the mining activities here. Sadly for Ama, life in Kutukrum has turned out to be more expensive than she thought. Even food staff, Ama says, is very expensive due to the poor road. <laughs> For residents of Kutukrum, if there's any development they need as a people, fixing the red, dusty, narrow, winding stretch is their most pressing need at the moment. MFA Ewenam Atsiamua Eli. For Joy News, Kutukrum, Western Region. Well, Joy News sources at the Roads and Highways Ministry say the road is one of the Cocoa Roads projects. At the moment, a number of Cocoa Roads contracts have been suspended, largely owing to lack of funds. The suspension of these projects is therefore to blame for the poor state of the Pristia Kutukrum Road, our sources explain.